Hello everyone, it's Krithik here from IT Rebels and finally the moment we all were waiting for to mint our contributors of IT Rebel NFTs is near. Uh, the minting will start from 10th February 2024 but there is a special benefit to our very beloved community Zoworld. So if you are holding uh, any Zoworld NFTs uh, you are eligible for pre-mint, uh, like pre-public mint. Uh, let's check out uh, how our NFTs will look. And this is how our NFTs are looking on OpenSea. And it's really nice. It's completely on-chain, generated and stored on-chain. And as you can see, this is how NFT will look. The animation is so cool of that token, like that's our SVG animations. And this is not just a simple NFTs, uh, it is on-chain evolving NFT. Uh, the, you can level up your NFTs by like level up. Uh, we will see how to level up inside our dApp. And when you, are, you maintain, when you are minting your NFT, you will assign a class. There are out 13 or 14 classes. And out of that, you will uh, be assigned a random class. And based on that class, you will give an, a primary attack. And uh, you can unlock your secondary and tertiary attack. That's why it is called evolving NFTs. Once you level up, you will unlock your uh, level uh, attacks. And those are your powers. And based on that powers and traits, uh, this NFT you have, uh, the rarity will be decided. So the the more the level the unique the attacks like not unique but you have all the three attacks and it will automatically get unique because most of them are empties so yep the more uh, level up you uh, the more levels you can get uh, will make your nft more rare so it is a gamified nfts too and uh, yeah that's what i built and i was just learning it and i'm doing that so like I have a YouTube channel um, and I am working on that. If you want to join our community, join our Discord. If you want to check out the smart contract, you can check on Polygon Scan. And this is how the smart contract will look. And you can just uh, check it out. Uh, don't trust me, don't trust anyone on Web3. Just uh, trust the code, right? So all the codes are open source. And we also have our snapshot, like, uh, like if you want to give some ideas or you want to do some uh, con uh, partnership, just create some proposal and we will definitely try to accept it. And if it helps our community, and we will definitely do that. If you have some video which we want to share with us, like from our, with, within our community, we can definitely LinkedIn linked it into our channel and definitely give call, uh, like attributes to you like totally made by you and you hold all the rights that's how it works and yep it's your channel it's your community and come join us yeah and that's it uh, so let's let me give you the overview how this dap is working as you can see the levels uh, is there in nfts you can level up uh so let's start with minting okay hmm. so this is how minting screen will look uh this is max supply uh the total number of supply maximum supply it can currently it is two but uh, once the minting will started it will be 69 and that means uh 60 only 69 nfts can be exist uh, can exist and total supply means uh, the current number of NFTs are minted and you can mint the rest like total um, max supply minus total su supply you can mint that much and as you can see the IDs hash one is the ID and as I mentioned, key, as I mentioned that if you're holding Zoworld NFT, uh, then you will be eligible for Zo uh, pre-minting, pre-public mint, and that's why it is so showing Zozo Zo Bros. Else, it will say something different, like uh, "Who are you?" and that's it. Some some message, and it's cool. By the way, check it out. Um, with some different account.
it's a really cool message actually a meme so the button is currently disabled just because i don't hold enough matic if you want to get some matic uh, there is a swap option uh, below that you can use quick swap uh, this is not promoted uh, i just know quick swap for now and if you if you want to use something different use be my guest and this nft is deployed on polygon mainnet uh, pos and if you want to be a part of like if you want to mint this nft you would have to be on polygon to do that so there is a unique owner currently we have only two unique owner one is dvbro and second one is me uh, so this is the level up screen i hold one nft it shows me what nfts i hold and as you can see i have level one and i can increase it by any number and based on that number i have to pay uh, for leveling up right so that's true like i have to pay for that and but based on this level up you can, you will get some unique trades right so this is how you can trade levels like there is another way to level up uh, to trade levels like if you want you so to someone to give you a level then you can trade it and as you can see i have uh, only one level one i have only one to give so i can't give two that's why button is disabled and the function will not work so that's nice uh, in nft id you have to put hash uh, rebel hash zero right so zero is the nft id that's it based on this level your attack will be created and one 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 big notice uh, after like uh, giving the announcement of uh, minting is live i will only wait for 15 to 20 minutes that's it then i will start minting uh, just because i want you to get the single digit nfts because they are rare definitely rare because it's a single digit nft right uh, and then uh, I will start minting because my friend want it and I have to give it to her or him. Nice. Happy minting.